Here we go. Yeah, just wet in the paper now. And there we go, that's the first wash. Now, there's an old expression, watching paint dry. Now all I did was I gave that a, a light wash uh, with a bit of, um, uh, let's have a look what the blue was. It's cerulean blue. Um, chromium and um, a bit of uh, James Gray and so I'll let that dry and uh, we'll go from there but while it's still wet I'm going to take a bit of James Gray and just a, a really diluted um, pigment and uh, We'll go just where these trees are. We'll just put a really, as if it's just a tiny inkling that they're back there. Nothing really um, definite. It's like you're looking at them through the snow. So it's it's not as if there's there. Um, going to be seen clearly but yeah, there are trees in the background they're quite quite pale and there's not a lot to them so what we can do is we can just put a bit of shadow across there now the thing is is what I've done because I'm using such a small piece of paper, I just decided to drop out a lot of the landscape and even the trees. Uh, so I might put uh, a little bit of the bush back here. So we can we can do that. We can just get a bit of um, 
a bit of Jane's Grey and then what we'll do is we'll just put, put this back here and the thing is is you don't want to put too much of it you just want to make it as though it's it's there but it's not Because it's that, that looks a bit dark, so I might try and take some of that out. I might even let it go up a bit over the top of the um, the shed or the barn. Because it does. Well, I'll just pause again. So it just sort of gives it a bit of a, a feel that there's um, gaps, but there, there are still um, there's still snow on those things. So you don't have to put a lot of detail. On So, yes. 
do is just cut open all this because I forgot to put my uh, oh. now where was I? Ah oh, here we go. Yeah and then what we want is we just want to put some more of these boards in. Not too many just to make it look authentic and then it just goes down like this and then and then we need a bit more of it up here because we don't want to don't want it to look vacant and then we just whack them up there now the thing is, is up the top there these there are some darker sections underneath the eaves and under this one here and then basically there are some gaps now once again now the the brush is a bit drier um, we, we want to basically just put some lightness in there not don't want to put in too much just make it look a bit timbery and then like that and it yeah gives it the impression that it's got some uh, boards and then there's snow on some of them and not on the others and then we just want a bit more here And then we'll just basically whack a bit more like that. Because we don't want it to be too, too much. So now we've got a little bit of the, the look of the shed. Not perfect, but it's not bad. It's coming up all right. Now. There, over here, there's like a doorway, and that doorway is pretty dark. And then we've got like like the banister coming down. And then over here we've got a bit more dark. And while the brush is drier, you can see under here, under this eave, you've got some like shadow, but it's not it's not completely black. It's just a bit it's just a bit um, grey so to speak now the thing is is under here there's that there's just a little like that and we'll whack some more boards in yeah starting to come to shape come into shape I'm glad it's small because in that way you don't have to worry about um, yeah, too much and you can use a small brush. See, I'm only using a two, a number two here and uh, it seems to work quite well. Um, and then here there's just a tad of dark down the side of the window. And then maybe in this side of the window too. Now, I didn't realise, but this window has got some dark coming across like that. And then one of those goes up like that. Now, I want to try and put the window in, but without putting the window in. 
I hopefully haven't made that too dark because really it's just the the inside of the window but the outside of the window is actually white or well, very very light anyway so we don't want too much and then we've got this got that one working now this Now the trick is you don't want to put too much because you want to you always want to be able to see that snow on the arm. So you need to have just a, a very very light amount of pigment. Like you don't need a lot of it. And it's just to give that impression that there's something there. So it's starting to come up, slowly but surely. Um, sorry, I just get distracted by some of the um, some of the light and dark areas. All right, we've got more. It looks like it's inside the shed, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to make it completely black in there, but I do want to make sure it's it's noticeably darker. And I'll just remove some of that water or some of the pigment so that when I bring it down, it basically comes lighter. Because you just want you want to make sure it looks like it's there, but not too much. Now, take this down, then we do this. Might want to make some of that a bit darker under there. starting to look like it a little bit and what we want is we need to just bring this tree out a little bit more as if it's got some more depth in it not too much because you just want to make it look like it's got little bits of snow coming up there Nothing too much. I 
Well, let's let's just bring this down so it looks like it's got a bit of depth in it. Just want to add a bit more water to try and soften it up a bit because you don't want it too dark but you do want it to look like it's it's got a bit of a dip <laughs> And then we might whack a bit more. Whoops, a bit dark. So we just need a lot of water. Not using a lot of paint on this, but um, then basically it, it wants a bit more around here and then maybe some more shadow up here. coming up all right um, what I might do is just put a bit of the, the ground color in here not too much but just let it as if the lights hitting that and maybe a little bit over here in just different areas the blue of the the sky coming out in the snow. There we go. Yeah, well, now it's got, why not whack a couple of them It's got some um, posts, or what look like posts just here and there's another one over here and then another one where over here another one there okay so let me just uh, have a look I think I've broken it. 
film on again. Oh no, it's back again. Sorry, I had a bit of doogly there. Okay. You probably didn't hear what I said. Um, I said, uh, you could put a little more detail into it. Uh, what I did do, I just put a couple of small birds up here in, uh, in the distance. Uh, you could uh, do a bit more. You could actually make it so that there was um, another couple of trees just behind the house. You don't have to put them there. But, you know, they sort of could be there at the distance. Um, but in general, it doesn't look too bad. And it's, to me, it's pretty much finished. So, a very simple painting in, in itself. Ah, oh, what you could do. Okay, we'll do, we'll do something. Let's have a look. Um, I've just got some um, gouache here, uh, spectrum gouache. So it's a, a very, very white, um, opaque white. And so what you might do is you might just put a bit in some places just to basically make a bit of a highlight. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot. Make it just a little bit. It's not not about covering things um, it's more about just giving it uh, some some highlights really like this bit here it basically really goes up like that and there is some considerable amount of snow here so you just basically want that coming down and then having it a little bit of it just show like this just like that it's not a lot um, but it's just a little bit to um, show that there is uh, some real white snow. Um, if you wanted, you could actually whack a bit across the top of the beams. You know, not a lot. Um, where else? Uh, I might put a little couple of tabs in here on the, on the tree to make it look as if there's a lot more snow happening on the tree. It's not, not a lot, but just, I don't know, just a little bit to, to give it that whiteness. So anyway, I have raved on and said enough. I think that pretty much does it. Now the thing you've got to look at is in this picture I've used really two colors, uh, cerulean blue and um, Jane's grey. So I haven't used a lot of colors. Um, the drawing was really simple um, and a little uh, what do you call it? White gouache. So, yeah, it's it's something simple. And the thing is, it was on a piece of paper that, you know, I didn't like that one. 
how it was turning out rubbish. But this one, I'm actually happy with. I think, uh, I think it's come up quite well. And I've actually just noticed something. So I haven't finished, okay. Yeah, you can agree. That's one of those things you just, you want to be finished and then you go, oh, okay. I noticed something. Now what it is, is just along here, along this section, there's actually a highlight of snow. Um, I don't know whether you can see it, um, or is it there, in the picture, but uh, it's just a bit brighter. And so I thought, well, why don't I whack a bit of snow on the roof there? Now, because I've put that white in, what I do need to do I think it's worth actually maybe darkening that up almost a couple of just to get it looking like it stands out a bit more yeah that's better nothing major anyway enough is enough I'll let it go and I haven't done this with many of them um, so what I'll do is I will sign it yay signing mm. uh, well, where I'll just do it over here in a very small script. And that's it. And that'll dry lighter. It's just my initials. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, if you want, we can, uh, I'll do more like that. And... Uh, Anyway, let's put that, actually, put that, ah, that's what happened. That's why I did it. Now I understand. I was having trouble with the camera. Ah, it doesn't matter. I won't bother <laughs> going into it. But anyway, this is it. Anyway, from Patrick's Art Simplified, have a great day and enjoy life.